Welcome to the results of my 2019 Machinima contest. This has been by far the least popular contest I've done, which I understand considering the absolute shitstorm that is 2020. So let me just say that I hope you're doing well and staying safe from the virus. A contest like mine with no first place prize really shouldn't be important at a time like this, which is why I considered not doing one at all this year. But I was encouraged by a viewer who told me it helped him out a lot, and that's why I do this. It's also newer directors can get some advice on how to improve their machinimas and a few extra views in the process. Now with that said, let's get on to the 2019 entries. At third place is The Daily Time by TurtGuy36, but it's actually TurtGuy36's 7 year old son, who I assume is now 8. I think it's really cool that TurtGuy's kid was interested in making machinima at such a young age, and it's honestly a lot better than my first machinima, which I made at the age of 14. It's not on my channel, so don't go looking. In this machinima, after the opening shots, which are not at all bad, one of the tanks shoots the other one, and we get some nice seven-year-old humor. Ha, that's what you get. I actually kind of laughed at this, which says something about me, probably, but if I were to give any advice on this one, it would be to cut between tighter shots when the characters are talking, and to focus more on continuity. For example, at the end, the Elite in the previous shot is on the left side of the tank. Then when it cuts, the Elite is on the other side. Stuff like that should be avoided. Other than that though, this machinima exceeded my expectations. And if it were submitted in last year's contest, I might have actually ranked it above a few others. So I hope Turret Guy's kid keeps at it because I'd really like to see more from him. In second place is Halo Reach Funtage by Adog. This is a classic machinima. And by that, I mean it's in the classic style of Halo Reach Machinima. Like 100 Ways to Die in Halo Reach and stuff like that. And I love this kind of stuff. I really do. Even though it may not be all that technically impressive, I can tell the guys making it had a lot of fun. And that's what's important. And to be fair, I really did enjoy some of the clips. Okay. Do you know what the plan is? Yes. Suicide. Oh, I love this kind of stuff. But if there were one thing I'd say, it's that you should try to cut between more, tighter shots when the characters are talking. A-Dog tends to rely on head bobbing to show who's talking while using one wide shot for an entire scene. Although I understand why he does this because cutting between shots is a lot more effort. Although it would be a lot more visually varied and appealing. Either way, good shit man, keep it up. In first place is Old School Episode 1, Tourette's Guy, by TurtGuy36 himself. Before I made this contest, I randomly stumbled upon this video, and I really liked it, because the humor in it just really hit home for me. The whole mistaken identity thing is great, and the dialogue felt really genuine for a bunch of kids who talk over each other and don't listen in a Halo 3 lobby. Normally, I don't do this for the first place machinima, but there's only three, so I might as well. His camera work is pretty good overall, but to nitpick a bit, there are a few camera work and body acting issues. For one, body actors don't stop in the positions they should be, often nudging other characters and then shuffling to get in position. It matters less when you consider the context of this machinima, but it's still a problem. The 30 degree rule is broken here, which is slightly jarring, and he occasionally breaks the 180 degree rule. For example here, the red Spartan with the Mauler switches sides. However, he's actually pretty consistent with this overall, so it's not a huge problem. I was going to say that there was an issue with audio quality, but considering the context, it actually kind of makes sense. However, there are still some sections where characters are much louder than other characters, and it goes to almost a level of ear rape. I'm not sure if this is intentional, but either way, it's very jarring and takes you out of the moment. That being said, this was a great video, and I'm probably going to watch all the other old school episodes by the end of the day, because I'm noticing now that he made a lot more. And that's it for the 2019 Machinima Contest. I will be posting a 2020 Machinima Contest sometime in the next few days. So keep an eye out for that if you're interested in entering. Before I leave, I'd like to thank Trey Yazzie for being an all-around cool guy, voice acting for me in the past, and supporting me on Patreon. Anyways, that's it for this video, and I'll see you again next time.